am super excited. We have these brand new um, locker shells, which we're gonna use for our iMotion movies or Claymation movies. And this week we have Science Fair and STEM night. So it's a busy night. It's a great time for us to just kind of do some fun stuff in here, some busy fun stuff. And the way it works is, you're gonna get a piece of paper and you're gonna tape it to your table. You'll want a new one because the last class has probably got clay on it. Then with your stand set up, you wanna make sure that the lens of the iPad is not looking at one of these uh, wires here. And you also don't want it to show the, the black part of the table or the purple or whatever color of the feet. So you wanna set it in a place where all you see is the background. And I can tell right now it's been moved, so I'm gonna put this line back where it was. Like how helpful that shadow effect is. And then, um, where I left it, it was that shape. So basically, it doesn't matter if you pick them up, because you could tell where it was before. And just set it right back on there, and I can keep going. If I wanted to split, um, I could just pick it up. Be careful not to bump or move anything from side by side near the same spot and it really does look like it's splitting. And then when you do a uh, capture, I've learned that, I'm gonna start a new one here and see, that when you, um, when you are using um, the capture, do it two times per move. So for example, I've got those two there, I'm gonna say capture, capture. And then I'm going to be careful. Make sure that the display shadow is turned on. Okay, and then I'm gonna display that away. And then when you move it, or move in this case, them a little bit, and then you wanna do capture, capture. So two captures per move. How far do we move? Just a tiny little bit. And you can move it wherever you want. In this case, rules don't really apply. We're just having fun with the idea claymation, clay animation. Oh, I forgot, didn't I? I'm gonna do it two times. If you make a mistake, just keep going. You can always edit it later. Make sure hands are out of the way. Capture, capture. And then it just looks better. Now that's only a couple because I didn't do the 10, but you get the idea. 